talk about how to do your assignment on United Airlines. So up here is the first line. It's basically a Google search like line where you can either type in a code to get to a screen in Bloomberg, or you can type in what you're looking for and we'll help you find it in a search like fashion. So in this case, start typing in a company name, United Airlines, or you can type in their ticker symbol. As you do, it will start filtering out some choices. And down here, second half of the screen, you can see the securities. Now UAL, US is the market it trades on. Equity is to get to the equity that we're gonna be analyzing. Corp is Bloomberg lingo for fixed income. So equity, debt. So start out with the company's equity. This is the equity screen. Again, a lot of different screens on here. The one that's gonna be relevant to doing your analysis is something called RV, stands for relative valuation. This is the screen and Bloomberg where you can compare peers and do what's called multiple or comparable analysis. So you can either click on RV or up front, you, top, you can type RV once you get to a company and it will give you a default list of peers. Now there are different, what are called peer or comp sources. This is the analyst curated one. You could choose a best fit algorithm one. You could also choose other different ones. For this assignment, you're using analyst curated. Now there are other indexes you could use. The one that I have chosen is the first one, which is the North American full service, but there are different peer groups, okay? So this is gonna be your peer group and this is data on the companies. To do the EIC, one of the things you're gonna to have to look at is you're gonna to have to look at the markets tab. And on the markets tab, there's a sub tab called beta. This is the raw beta that we're gonna be using as part of our analysis for each of the companies. The top line is the industry average. How did I get an industry average? It's market cap weighted average. Well, you're gonna get it on settings, global settings. Your screen is gonna probably look like this in your account when you come in. It's gonna have this kind of top bar, which I find to be fairly useless, and then it's got the company information. You'll go to settings and global settings, and you wanna make two choices in your account. One, I get rid of the top bar to give myself more screen real estate to look at the data that I want, and two, under statistics, these are stats that on the, the data that you're loading get automatically put in every time. The one box you wanna check is for market cap weighted average. This will give you the industry average adjusted for size. So some tiny company doesn't distort the average as opposed to doing a straight average. Hit close. That will update your screen to look something like this. The top line is now your industry average when you do your beta analysis. Again, remember in this class we're using raw, not adjusted. Now to do industry spread, you'll come over here to custom and you'll create an industry spread. So once you're in the custom screen, you can look up any data point you want. The data you'll type into the add column field. In this case, we're gonna do an ROIC. So you can start typing in ROIC for return invested capital. Bloomberg will ask you which ROIC do you want? We're gonna choose the one as of the latest filing. And then you hit enter. <clears throat> These are the 2020 results. Top line is the industry average adjusted for size. You'll add a column, WACC, weighted average cost of capital, hit enter, that's your whack. Obviously you can quickly calculate your spread <clears throat> is the difference between the two. And again, define the industry attractiveness and whether or not United Airlines has competitive advantage today. If you wanna save this template, because we're gonna be using it a lot, this little gear icon gives you the option to save this as a template to reuse, okay? So I might call this my MBA uh, spread template. And if I save it, it's gonna show up here on my menu bar as a quick reference I can always click on and it will load this template. So for example, I have a template called cycle for cycle time. This is my cycle time template that I had previously saved. Click on MBA spread. <coughs> <clears throat> that's the one that we want. What's also nice is once we have a template, if you go to the company, you can switch the company. So let's say I wanted to do uh, General Electric. I switch them out, and now GE's data is replaced with this template in real time. Or let's say I wanted to do Apple. Okay. So very quickly, when you save templates, you can then use the, da the data uh, templates as companies change to quickly update your data. In this case, we're gonna use this a lot this semester. 
but for our purposes, for this assignment, you're doing your analysis on UAL. So again, I'll go back here. This is the data that you're gonna need. I require screenshots to show that you did the data. How do I do a screenshot in Bloomberg? Up top, there's a little icon that looks like a square. This is the export box. Click on export, take a window screenshot. You can save the window screenshot, put the file name, whatever you want. I might call this, uh, who's this United? UAL dash spread. My spread screenshot. And now you'll save it as a essentially a GIF file on my hard drive. You can also email, take screenshots, and email it to yourself. Okay, so that would be send via message, which is the email system. Um, just remember that you're actually operating on the cloud. So if you do save the file, make sure you save it to a local drive, which is your computer, not the C drive, which is actually the computer on the cloud. Uh, in any event, these will be the two screens that you need. Um, if you are looking at in the other data that was in the video, talked about the economic analysis, ECFC was the, the screen to get to the economic forecasts, which looked at GDP and other data going forward. And the other screen was ECSU that was referenced in the video, which is the current economic surprise index. All right. Again, there's a lot more information we're going to be using this semester, but this is the minimum amount of data that you need to look at to do the EIC. A couple other tips and tricks is uh, if you go to a company, United Airlines is your company, UAL, U.S. Equity, you can also get information about the company itself. Under here, it's called BICO, Bloomberg Intelligence on a Company. That's what it actually stands for. And you either type BICO or just click on BICO. And what this does is Bloomberg hires former sell side analysts, this guy George Ferguson, who basically writes uh, sell side research. And in this case, they take cliff notes of what all the analysts are saying and just create basically research reports on the company and a summary. So here's a summary of all the research. As you're doing your EIC, this might help you. They also have these primers, and there's an industry primer, which is basically a dashboard, if you click on it, for the airline industry. So here's what's going on in the airline industry. So as you're doing your EIC analysis, and again, you get to the dashboard here from that primer, uh, but basically here's a bunch of data on what's going on in the airline industry. So as you're doing your EIC analysis, so you're trying to understand the industry, so we're at Wall Street, this is where you can actually get data. Remember, you can reference data in the real world to do this assignment, just don't plagiarize, okay? So make sure if you're quoting, you put quotations in a footnote or you can bibliography. Final screen that you can get to is BRC, which stands for the Bloomberg Research Portal. And this gets you analyst reports. So for example, here is a JP Morgan analyst report, which is a cell rating, eight pages long, uh, from March 18th. So again, you can look at the various reports and uh, use that information. So again, if I were to click on this, it would load the PDF of the JP Morgan report uh, where they wrote their research on United Airlines, which was not very favorable and why it's not very favorable. And so again, as you're trying to understand what's going on with the company and the industry, the analysts are trying to do the same thing, might help you as you do your EIC. So just a few quick tips and tricks to do the EIC assignment, more when we see you next week in class.